Hello everyone, Justin here and welcome to 4AM Art. And in this video, we're going to be practicing drawing distortion where we take this rook and distort it in different ways, upward, sideways, and curving away and towards us. And this is a great way to practice in order to be able to draw from imagination. Obviously, distorted objects don't really exist but if you can picture it in your mind's eye, then you can definitely try to draw it. So this is a continuation of this video that I did of drawing a pawn in different angles from a side view, going all the way to a top view, and figuring out what exactly is changing. As you can see, the straight lines on side view are actually circles, which are clearly seen from the top view. So we'll take our typical rook, and draw it first from a side view, again with those straight lines. And don't forget the mid line, vertical line, which will help you keep everything symmetric from left to right. So the first change we're going to do is to make this rook a little bit taller, as if we're stretching it upward. And so the stem will curve a little bit possibly and become a little bit narrower as it's getting stretched. You can imagine like a candy caramel that's being pulled and it becomes a little bit thinner. The next thing we'll do is we'll have it start curving to the right. So our center line is now curved. And as we draw the sides, notice that the left side is getting stretched. So it's a little bit straighter than the right side, which is being compressed. And so it takes on a curve. Next, we're going to tilt it. So the straight line of the base from the previous drawings will now become an ellipse and we can see the bottom of this rook. Again we have our center line that's curved and again it's still being stretched and now we're also curving it so we can see the bottom of the top, the top turret and notice that the ellipse of the turret is a little more circular than the bottom ellipse. I'm drawing some contour lines here just so you can visualize exactly what's happening to the surface. Next we're going to curve it even more such that the bottom is pointing towards us but the top is also now being bent toward us. So the waist or the midline is getting bent by a lot and now you can see the top of the turret as well as the bottom of the base. For this part, as far as trying to draw, draw it accurately, you may want to use a sample rook just so you have a reference. The rest of the body parts, of course, will be distorted, which is the goal of this exercise. Again, I'm drawing some contour lines so you know what's happening. And now what we can do is just go ahead and start adding some more detail, some more, some shading just to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional. And I'll keep the shading simple here, just drawing a shadow line and basically just simple hatch lines. So definitely try practicing this technique. Use different objects and you can even draw this just straight from imagination. And I think your ability to draw from imagination is just going to be so much better and you'll be able to improve more. So please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.